It just keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. <laughs> we don't have floating babies this time. We just have invisible babies. Wait, why is there a floating baby? I should have no baby. I thought, wait, why do you have a child? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. This episode is very, very special because it is another Royal Family Tree video. It has been over 100 episodes since I did my last Family Tree video, which was like, I think three years ago or something like that. It was season one, part 73. Now we're on season two, part 81. And there are so many more Sims since the last one. This tree is ginormous, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit intimidated to film this video, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. So my family tree is on a website called Tribal Pages, but I first wanted to show you all the family tree that's in game because for Tribal Pages, when I zoom out, I can't show you all like the generations and generations. I think it only shows like three at a time or something like that. Whereas the one in The Sims shows like five at a time, somewhere along those lines. So I just wanna show you what we're going to be dealing with here. So this episode is kind of just a little bit of a break in the story, I guess, kind of like a filler episode, even though it's a little bit more important than a filler episode. It will kind of get everyone caught up on things, but we'll continue with the story where we left off in the next episode. So what I think we're going to do is start with the Winterbreak royal family. What? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Why are some showing up as ghosts and others are not? What the heck? Uh, okay, well, another upside to not showing it to you guys in The Sims is that there's going to be less glitches. <laughs> That's so weird. I've never seen this glitch before. This is weird. Okay, anyway, if you are new, Windenburg is my main royal family. I'll give you all the information about that in a little bit, but I just want to show you guys here everything we're dealing with. This is only like the third gen that I'm starting with here to show you guys. It actually goes up further than that, but the reason I'm not showing it to you guys in The Sims is because if you you didn't know the sims just likes to yeet the people on your tree they will just kick them out of there it's like they never existed especially does that if you have a big royal family tree or not a royal family i just have a royal family it will do that if you have a big family tree and i have a giant one so a ton of my sims are missing and it just made a ton of them disappear so this isn't even the extent of it but i just wanted to show you guys this here and what we're dealing with we don't have floating babies this time we just have invisible babies because I use the toddler preset. The last family tree video, we had so many floating babies, but yeah, we're, I, I aged them up into the toddler preset to make them look more like newborn babies if you didn't know. So wait, why is there a floating baby? I should have no baby. I thought, wait, why do you have a child? What? <laughs> okay. I didn't think they would have a child. I'm I'm, hold on, hold on, what? Okay, this couple right here has had this only son for a year. Oh, he's a C student, I should change that. But they've had him for years. He's like 17 or 16. And they just had another baby? Thaddeus, okay. Okay, um, well, he's not going to be on the, oh, they're right, they're dogs on the tree. Um, he's not going to be on the tree in the tribal pages one, but everybody else will. So I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> This happened in my last family tree video. I found out about another pregnancy, but it was a teen pregnancy. And now I found out another one. I have auto pregnancy and all that stuff off in MC Command Center. I thought I had it off for the neighborhood stories too, but apparently not. So we're gonna move past this. <laughs> anyway, that was my family tree. Uh, okay, yeah, I kind of lost them now, but that that's that's just kind of just it was just to give you an idea of what we're working with here I still don't know why some of them are showing up as ghosts There's gonna be a lot more on the other family tree I was actually expecting it to show more generations, but apparently they all got yeeted. So that's fine All right, this is my family tree on tribal pages. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait sorry before we begin a quick announcement I finally made a TikTok. I had been meaning to for years and I was just like too scared to so I did but the 
reason why I finally did quick story time. I don't know if any of you guys know the streamer Small Ant. He's a great streamer, highly recommend, very entertaining. But Jake and I were watching one of his streams and someone came on his stream and was like, hey, I saw you on TikTok and now I'm here. And he was like, oh great, that means it's working. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I need to make a TikTok. Like I've been meaning to make one for so long and I, I know it would help a lot and I could get like my content on there and I could make like cool videos and it would be like, it would be great. But I, it, it makes me so anxious and I don't know why and I started freaking out and Jake was like, hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. If you don't want to make one yet, you don't have to. Like, it's not a big deal. There's no pressure. Like, whenever you're ready, you can make one. Don't worry about it right now. And I was like, okay, okay. And then not a second later, small ant goes, I'd have to be an idiot to be a content creator and not be on TikTok. And I went, ah! So now I have a TikTok. It's Mira Ray underscore Royals. I don't plan to change the username, but if I do, I'm gonna link it below anyways. So yeah, I have a few videos on there. I just wanted to say that before we started. <laughs> okay, back to the family tree. As I mentioned, this is on tribal pages. One of my moderators, Ash, decided to take it upon herself and recreate my entire royal family tree. So this is all her doing. Everyone, please say thank you to Ash. This took her over two years to do. There are, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but trust me, there are hundreds of sims on this family tree like hundreds of them she went back and remade sims in her game that we didn't know what they looked like or anything like that or that they were just ghosts although right now apparently we can see what they look like in their hair color and everything for some of them i don't know why that's a weird glitch but she did all of this so so technically a lot of the pictures are fan made i did add especially like newer pictures of our main sims right now so you guys will see that change so the pictures are not completely consistent it's fine, you just deal with it. But Ash did an amazing job, so please tell her thank you in the comments because this would not be done without her. She is amazing, she's literally the best. And also, if you are new here and have no idea what this series is or anything that we're talking about, hi, this is my Royal Family series. I probably should have done this at the beginning, but this is my Royal Family Let's Play series. It's my baby, I put so much work into this. It's so much fun. As I mentioned, we are on season two of the Royal Family series. If you're new and want to start the series, but it's seems like a lot for you, highly recommend my season one recap video. I will link that below. It'll be the first video. It's like the first video you should see on my channel too if you're new. It quickly summarizes everything in like 20 minutes and if you if you don't want to spoil anything, I'll tell you all the information in the beginning that you need to know. We have technically eight royal families and eight kingdoms, but I have seven main kingdoms and I'm just going to go through kingdom by kingdom. Winnenberg was my first kingdom. They've got the most generations. I think they have eight. Eight? I want to say and then Willow Creek and Oasis Springs were my second two that I added So they should have one less so like seven ish or something like that And then after that were the other ones we added Brindleton Bay, which is descended from Oasis Springs, which you guys will see We've got Sulani. We've got Who else do we have? We have Guangxi and we have the UKSD and we have Chinching. They're the smaller one That's not really part of the main series if you watch the series, you know why. But yeah, I need to get started because this is such a big family tree video. So we are starting with the first king and queen of Windenburg. Technically beforehand, King Henry was married to Queen Caroline, but they had no kids together. On the tree, this start, this does start a tad bit complicated. On the tree, so his second wife was Queen Ravenna and together they had their first child, which was Princess Raina. However, she died when she was a baby, when she was an infant. And then they had Princess Elizabeth. And then before they had their their next child, Ravenna, had an affair. It, this is all in my history of Wittenberg video. She had an affair with Arthur, which was the king's brother. He was his half brother. Arthur and Ravenna had Henry, Isabel, Derek, and then Mary was born from Ravenna and Henry. Arthur later became king. However, no one actually knows that they're descended from Arthur. Our current royals in the series think that they are from Henry and they're actually from Arthur. Derek married Anne, they had Bryce, and then Isabel married Will and they had Stefan and then so this is where we're going to I'm just kind of gonna go down the line of our current like the 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 kings like our monarch I don't know, how do you say that the direct line of royalty something like that and you can see it starts to get bigger um so then Henry he became King Henry the second of Windenburg he married Sybil Sybil and Henry had three kids they had Kellen Mara and John I'm not gonna go through 
through like all like for example like with Isabel and Derek's and all their kids because what you guys will see is you'll see them show up on the Willow Creek Royal Family Tree and the Oasis Springs Royal Family Tree but John married Jane John and Jane they had Carol and Louis Carol married Irvine Irving Irving and Louis married Amaya and then as for Mara she married Earl Matthew and they had one kid they had John who married Countess Lydia as for Kellen so he became the next king of Winnenberg he married Isla in my previous videos I kept saying Ilsa because I thought I named her Ilsa and I never realized that I spelt it Isla so when I was saying Ilsa in videos people were correcting me so that's my bad her name is Isla and then Isla and Kellen had two kids they had Emily and they had Henry also just so you know for the throne it was male preference for a lot of the kingdoms beforehand like Windenburg, Willow Creek and Oasis Springs that's changed now and you guys will see that so it went from Henry II to Kellen into Henry the third so he became King Henry the third so oh my gosh yeah you guys can already see it. I just clicked on Kellen and you guys can already see like it get it gets more than this later on it's insane okay but if I click on Kellen and you guys will see Emily married William she became the Queen of Willow Creek so I'm not gonna go through that because we're gonna see them on the Willow Creek family tree but Henry married Ezra they had four kids they had King George who is actually the king when we first start the series so he's the king in season one that you guys see um so they had George Arya Mira me um and Eliza I didn't actually pick my channel name yet so Mira wasn't technically named after my channel I just really liked the name clearly oh oh I should mention oh my gosh I should have said this before there's gonna be spoilers <laughs> if you don't like spoilers and you want to like see the whole series and stuff uh there's gonna be spoilers so I would just I just want to give you guys a heads up like who ends up with who and all that stuff I should have said that before I am so sorry anyway as for their kids and who they married and their children Eliza married Ross they had two kids they had Matthew and Franklin Matthew married Valentina and Franklin married Malaya then their other daughter Mira married Colton they also had two kids they had Peter and Caleb Peter married Olivia and Caleb married Shanna Arya and Easton will see on the Oasis Springs family tree so I'm not gonna go through them and then for George so he became the next king and he married Queen Isabel Isabel. So they had my babies. They had, uh, well, this is, oh, this isn't in, in the order they were born. They had Henry, Cora, and Anna, who, oh, I love them. So they were, they were the babies in, in the very first episodes of the royal family. And I just, I miss them a lot. I love them a lot. Also, again, yeah, you guys will see here. So some of these, like, these were the pictures that I took and added. Um, but then some of the other ones are taken. Are, they're either taken from, actually, some of them are from my videos in my season one recap videos. Some of them are ones that Ash took. You'll also see if you click on them too that there's some fan-made ones. Like there's albums that you can see here. So if you go to the pictures, so you can see like Henry with his grandchildren. This is Alice Van William, like one of the first pictures that I took. Henry as an elder, like family picture. I need some more pictures of him like as a child and stuff on here. So I'll, I'll make some changes and update things for sure. But then, okay, so we're getting closer to where we are in, in modern day. So for their eldest daughter, Cora, she married married King Edmund and became the Queen of Willow Creek. We're gonna see them on the Willow Creek Royal Family Tree, so I won't go through that. But then Anna, she married Marshall, and they had three girls. They had Ezra, who's who's the one who had the, the late baby that I just saw in my Sims game. Ezra married Jaden, and then Aurora married Kona, and Sadira married Johan, and she became the Queen of Brindleton Bay. And then for Henry, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I love I love seeing them. So for Henry's first wife, so he married Alice. They had three kids. They had Amira, May, and Kellen. Oh, also I should say that um, for the most part, like in this generation of stuff, it's the ones that are their partners on there are the ones that their spouses, like the, they're married to. Um, but for the teenagers that you guys will see and I'll get to it, it's who they're dating currently. So we we just put them on there as as their partners. It's They're listed as not married, but that's why you'll see them on the family tree, just to like show a little bit more of the connections. I don't think it's like that for all of them. I think I might've missed a few, but in case you're wondering why Molly Grace is married, 
married to Graham or something like that. that that's, they're not married, they're just dating. That's what they're listed on as the family tree. All right, so yes, so Amira married Jabari. May passed away when she was young. Rest in peace, May. And then Kellen married Megan. And then Henry had more kids, so, uh, so Alice did pass away. Years later, Henry married Evangeline. And then they had three kids. They had twins, Charles and Bellatrix. And then they had Diana. Charles married Fallon. They currently have two kids, Cambridge and Felix. Bellatrix married Samaria. They have two kids, Nohea and Oceane. Diana married Abraham. They have two kids, Vincent and Samuel. Samuel's like a newborn, but I, I just took a picture of him like that. So he's supposed to be like an infant. He's not like a full-size toddler. I haven't taken like an updated picture like I had with Oceane yet. So I, I, I'll, I'll update that because Oceane looks more like a newborn in her picture. Um, And then for Amira and Kellen. So Kellen married Megan. They have one son, William. Amira married Jabari. They have two kids. Alice May, our current main character, and Cedric. And Alice May is dating Caspian. They are not married. That's the current oh my gosh yeah wait okay so that's the current tree for windenburg that was all of windenburg guys look at this just look how we can actually see how many sims are on this now holy crap it just keeps going it keeps going it keeps going <laughs> oh my god all right so next we're going to be going through the willow creek royal family tree we start with king edward and queen lillian they have three kids they have jane elena and hans hans becomes King. Jane married John and they had two kids. They had Carol and Louis. Carol married Irving and Louis married Amaya, which I think I had already said. And then Elena married Sir Simon. They had two kids. They had Ezra, who later becomes the Queen of Windenburg, and they have Jacob. You guys already know that Ezra married Henry. And then Jacob married Bria. And as for Hans, so he becomes the King of Willow Creek, he marries Queen Ingrid. They have two kids. William and Neil. Neil marries Adeline and William marries Emily. Let me see if I can also see. Okay, so yeah, Neil, Neil and Adeline's kids I have here. So they have two kids. They have Emma and Bentley. Bentley marries Olivia and Emma marries Walter. And for William, so he becomes the king of Willow Creek and he marries Emily. They have three kids. They have Derek. Do they have, wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, sorry. This confused me. I, first, I, I forgot. Derek has an affair. Anyway, they have Derek, Jane, and Julia. Julia marries Deacon. Their kids, they have Olivia and Javin. Javin married Judith Ward. Then Olivia marries Peter. And as for Jane, she marries Hassan. And they have one kid. They have Walter, who marries Emma. And as for Derek, so his queen was Elena. They had two kids. They had Edmund and Alice. Alice, as you guys saw, became the queen of Windenburg. Edmund married Cora, who we'll go to in just a bit. And then Derek had an affair with Duchess Stella. They had Lady Tierra, and Tierra married Derek. So for them, let me see if I can see. Okay, so she married Derek. They had three kids. Oh yeah, they had three kids. They had Gianni, Gina, and Robert. Gina was married to Lorelai, but we're not gonna talk about this because, all right, I have witnessed is on my stream. Um, I didn't know they were first cousins. So that happened and then I was like, oh crap. So we needed Lorelai <laughs> and then Gina married a J. It was a whole thing. Anyway, Gianni married Chloe. <laughs> oh dear. And then for Edmund, so this is the line of the Willow Creek throne. Edmund married Cora. My lovely Cora, I love her so much. They had three kids. They had triplets. They had Louis, Jack, and Isabel. Isabel married Francisco and they had one daughter. They had Ariana who married Sir Thomas Stratton and they have a daughter named Lady Catalina. And then as for Jack, he married Countess Aria. They had two kids. They have Gabriel who's married to Aria and then they had Minerva who's dating Lord Umar but it looks like I forgot to put that in here as like the partner, like current boyfriend. And then Louis married Corinne. They had four kids. They had Cornelius. 
They had Genevieve, Elena, and Juliet, who are twins. Juliet married Manuel. They have a daughter, Priya. Elena married Takashi. And Genevieve married John, like very recently. Actually, I didn't, it's so recent that I forgot to put their new title. So there's a, currently the Duchess and Duke Consort of Willow Creek. And then Corn Boy married Farm Boy. He married Ellis. And they have a daughter, Vivienne. And she's a baby right now. So that's the, uh, yeah, that's the Willow Creek royal family tree. I, I realized it didn't show like the kiddos of the others before, like Ezra. Oh, wait, hold on. I, did I? I don't think I did. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, sorry. For Windenburg. I didn't see, I didn't realize I didn't go down the kids. So Anna of Windenburg, I'm sorry, this is kind of confusing. Anna had three daughters, Ezra, Aurora, and Sadira. Did I not go over this? I didn't, did I? All right. Sadira married Johan, became the queen of Brindleton Bay. They have two kids, Frederick and Molly Grace. Molly Grace is currently dating Graham and uh, Frederick is currently dating Jessica. And then Aurora, she married Duke Kona of Sulani. They have four kids. They have Nikau, Nani, Kioni, and Tally. Kioni and Nikau are twins. Nani is currently dating Malia. And then Ezra and Jaden, they had Lord Winston, but now they have another son. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the name Thaddeus, but that's the name that the game gave him. I'll let you all know. So that, now they have two kids. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> Next, we're going to go through the Oasis Springs royal family tree. First, we are starting off, we had King Cash and Queen Kara. Someone gladly pointed out to me, I didn't realize because their last name is Sue, that um, King Cash was King Cashew, basically. <laughs> That's what happens when you play the game and don't say the names out loud. <laughs> but King Cash and Queen Kara had three kids. They had Isla, who, as you guys saw, married the King of Windenburg and became the queen. They had Jared, who married Irina, and they had Amina, who married Ali. Amina and Ali had two kids. They had Elisa. I'm actually not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Elisa and Milo. Milo married Beth. Elisa married Mikan. And then Jared, as I said, married Irina. They had four kids? They had four kids. They had Sahar, who became king. Amaya, Gia, and Avita. Avita, we don't have information on who she married. She kind of got yeeted. The way that I think of it, though, is like maybe her husband kind of like left and she just didn't want the information about him like in history. Maybe she like burned it all and get rid of it. Maybe he like cheated on her and, and left her or something like that, which doesn't always happen when, when there's an unknown person on the family tree. That's just the way I was thinking of it. But they had two kids. They had Hassan and Abby. Abby married Philip and Hassan married Jane. Gia married Dion. They had two kids. They had Lucian and da da Davion? Davion? Davion married Darcy. Lucian married Clara. And Amaya married Louis. I think we already saw this, but I don't know if I went over their kids, did I? They had Keith and Ross. Keith married Myra. Ross married Eliza. All right, so I just want to go through their, their kids real quick. So Avita, one of Jared's children, her son Hassan had one child named Walter who married Baroness Emma, who I think we did actually see. And then Abby, who married Philip. They had three kids. Connor, who's married to Vanna. Scott, who's married to Natalie. And Blair, who was married to Duke Addison, but beforehand she had an affair with the king of Oasis Springs, which we'll get to in a second. And then just because I, I want to see, I want to see their kids here. I don't know if we'll see them otherwise. Oh gosh, okay. I Hopefully I, I'll be able to get back. Um, but Walter and Emma, they had two kids. They had Daniel and Tina. Tina married Jasper. Jasper passed away. Now she's married to Lady Helena. Baron Daniel, he married Lady Kaylin. And for their kids now, so Tina with Jasper, they had two kids, Liam and Eloise, who Liam's causing a lot going on right now. He is betrothed to Ember. And they have one son who is Lord Gilbert. And then, let me see, can I make it back to our, our family? Oh dear. Okay, yes, I made it back. Okay. Oh, and Eloise is also dating Lord Winston, but I didn't have that on here. So yeah, again, Tina is now married to Helena. Then Daniel married Kaylin, and they had two kids, Arian and Vina. Now let's, let's see Gia's family tree. So Gia and Dion, I said that they had two kids, Lucian and Davian. Lucian married Clara. They had Jillian, who was married to Duke Harrison, but she also had an affair with King Adrian. I'll talk about that later. Um, and then they had Natalie, who was married to Scott. Jillian had Harper, who's now married to Makara. They also had Lord Pierre. I'll get to Adrian later. And then Natalie is married to Scott. And yes, I said they already had Romeo in. All right, can I make it back to the 
the tree. I think we already saw with Gia. Okay, so then Amaya. Oh my gosh, this is this is getting crazy. We already saw Tierra and them and their family tree, but so they had two kids. I said Keith and Ross. Um, Ross married Eliza, but we didn't get to see their kids. So Eliza and Ross had Matthew and Franklin. Franklin, I said married Malia. They had three kids. They had Kayla, Christina, and Aaron. Kayla and Wyatt are Ember's parents. Aaron married Benjamin, and then Christina and Andrew had Juanita. But then Matthew, oh my gosh, this gets so confusing. Matthew is married to Valentina, and they had two kids. They had Maxwell and Lucas. Maxwell married Journey. They have Lady Colette, and Lucas married Clara. Okay, back to, oh my gosh, how do I get back to the Oasis Springs Royal Family Tree? I got it, I'm back. Okay, we're back. All right, back to Oasis Springs Royal Family. Sahar was the oldest son of Jared and Irina. Sahar married Ella. They had two kids. They had Easton and Elena. Elena became the queen of Willow Creek, who we saw. And then Easton married Arya, who was a princess of Windenburg. They had two kids. They had Jared and Adrian. Uh, Jared, we'll, we'll see that because they start the Brindleton Bay Royal Family. But Adrian, oh. Adrian. He had a lot of kids. Adrian had a ton of affairs. Adrian's wife was Lindsay and they had four kids. They had Nea, who is now the queen. She was the first queen of Oasis Springs. They have Nea, Francisco, Megan, and Michael, who were twins. Michael married Helena. Actually, well, hold on, hold on. Before we go over them, I'm gonna go over the bastard children. So Adrian had an affair with three different women. Blair, Harmony, and Jillian. Blair was married to Duke Addison. Oh, I already said, okay, so they, they had yeah, Lorelai, who married Gina, we don't need to talk about that. Wait, who, who, oh, okay, these were the affair children, my bad. Adrian and Blair had two kids, I think they were twins. So they had Kara and Benjamin. Benjamin is now married to Aaron. Kara had married Lucas with Duchess Julian. They had Duchess Isadora, or just Isadora. Isadora had married Nathaniel, they had Cassidy, and then Harmony. She created a lot of mess and so did their daughter. So Adrian and Harmony together had Charlotte, uh, uh, which uh, is uh, regretful, unfortunately. Uh, if you know the series, you know why. Anyway, so back to Lindsay. Oh, oh, okay. So Michael, so they're one of their youngest. Michael and Helena were our surprise baby. They had the surprise baby, which was a J on my last Royal Family Tree video. I was surprised because they were a teenage pregnancy. I, I thought that it was originally Helena's parents who had the baby. Turns out it was Helena and Michael who were teenagers at the time. They together had a J and Ron. Rosalind. And Jay married Gina, or is now married to Gina, and Rosalind is married to Romeo. And then Megan, I mentioned before, married Kellen, who was a Prince of Windenburg, and they have Lord William. Francisco and Isabel, I mentioned, because she was a Princess of Willow Creek. They had Ariana, who's married to Sir Thomas Stratton, and they have Lady Catalina. And then Naya and Philip, they had four, yes, they have four kids, okay. They had Aria, Kimberly, Aisha, and Manuel. Manuel married Juliet, they have Lady Priya. Kimberly married Makana, and now she's the future queen consort of Sulani, and they have two boys. They have Pilapo and Sione, and then Arya is married to Gabriel. So next we're going to take a look at the Brindleton Bay royal family, which is technically just descended from the Oasis Springs royal family because King Jared is the founder uh, with the help of King George of Winnenberg. They were the founders of the kingdom of Brindleton Bay. Because he was the oldest son of Easton and Arya, the king and queen of Oasis Springs at the time. He wanted to marry Nina, who was a commoner, and they wouldn't allow it. So Jared made a deal with his uncle, George, which you guys will see in the episodes if you haven't already seen it. Um, so I don't think I need to go into detail about it, but they had two kids. They had James and Johan. Johan is, well, sorry. So James is now married to Lord Ian. And then Johan and Sidira, they had two kids. They had Frederick and Molly Grace. And I mentioned before, Molly Grace is currently dating Graham. Frederick is currently dating Jessica. So that's just the Bridgerton Bay royal family tree. Next, we're going to do the Sulani royal family tree. I've never actually gotten to do their family tree in a video before, so I'm very excited. We are starting out with King Halani and Dowager Queen. Well, she ended up being the Dowager Queen. She was queen, but Queen Keala. Halani died, I think he was like an adult when he died, but they had three kids. They had Ali'i, Mahaka, and Kalena. Kalena married Kaui. They had two kids, Keikoa and Leah. Keikoa married Nadia, who 
they should actually, I think they should be the Baron and Baroness of the UKSD now. I, I need to change that. But I think we can actually see their kids here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Nadia and Keikoa, they had two kids, Roman and Nyla. Leah married Marjorie. They are the Baroness and Baroness Consort of Sulani. And they have Lord Zachary. And then let's go this way. Ali'i, she had, she married Lotu. They had two kids, Makai and Kona. Kona married Aurora. They had four kids, Nikau. I already went over them, but Nikau, Nani, Kioni, and Tally. And then Makai married Lily. Jessica is their adopted daughter. And then they have Yolana and Kaikoa. And Jessica, of course, is dating Frederick. And then we have our current Sulati royal family, who's a little bit of a mess right now. But um, Mahaka married Lokalani. Mahaka died also as an adult. I think it's just a pattern for the women of Sulani to live longer. I know they live longer because they're mermaids, but the men seem to die a little bit like like around adults or something like that. Leilana is their only child. She married Dean and they had three kids, Makana, Samaria, and Kaleo. And Makana is currently married to Kimberly. They have twins, Pilapo and Sione. And Samaria is married to Bellatrix. They have two kids, Nohea and Oceane. But yeah, that's the Sulani royal family tree. Next, we're going to do the UKSD royal family tree, which is the United Kingdom of Celadrada and Dakarai. I've never done their family tree on a video before either, so I am excited. So for their family tree, of course, these are oh, these are a bit smaller, I mentioned, because like Sulani, UKSD, and Guangxi that you guys will see too, they're added much later in the series. So their generations are much smaller compared to the rest. But Jahim and Abana. So Jahim was actually married to someone before he married Abana. So he was before married to Zara and they had two kids. They had Amaya and Dahlia. Dahlia married Michael. They have four kids. They had Nadia, who I mentioned married Kekoa, and they have Roman and Nyla. They had Gloria, who married Percival, and Ali, who married... Oh no, not married anyone. Ali hasn't married anyone, and Chris hasn't married anyone. And then Amaya, she married Carter. They had Diana and... Gr no, sorry. They only had Diana, who married Graham. Oh my goodness gracious. They had Diana. I thought they had more kids than that. Am I imagining that? No, I am imagining that. Okay, yes, I am. All right, they only had one kid. They had Diana. This was the whole thing. This is how, kind of how the kingdom of Savadrata got discovered. So they had Jaden, Andrew, and Hazel. Hazel is currently married to Lord Kai of Guangxi. Andrew married Christina, which we did We did see their kids and stuff. Yeah, they had Juanita, um, and Jaden married Ezra, and they have Winston, and then surprise baby. And then Kai and Hazel don't have kids yet. They'll probably be having kids soon, though. And then, back to the tree here. So that was Jahim's first marriage. And then he married Queen Abana. Abana is actually the one who's descended from the royalty. The rule back then where like who she buried would have the title of king. So they were the only kingdom to do that so far. Like she's technically queen and he's the king consort if that makes sense. I don't know if they'll be doing that from now on. They'll probably change it in the future. But they had two kids. They had Cayman and Jabari. Cayman was their oldest who became king. Jabari, we saw him on the Wittenberg family tree. He married Queen Amira of Windenburg, and then Cayman married Zamora, and they had two kids. They had Adric and Elon, and Cayman, there's a whole situation, uh, kind of an affair sort of thing, where he and Azara had a baby who is Nephthys, or Sissy for short. That was a mess of a situation, but Cayman and Zamora, I mentioned they had two kids, Adric and Elon. Also, uh, uh, Sissy is now Zamora's adopted daughter. For those who know the series saw that, that whole situation, they ended up bringing Sissy in, so she isn't considered like some of the other children who were born out of wedlock and like a fair babies and all that stuff. They were not seen as part of the royal family whereas Sissy was adopted by Zamora and now she's the princess of the UKSD. So she currently lives with, with Zamora because Cayman is, is no longer alive. But Adric married Desta and they had two kids, Osiris and MM who was just born in the last episode, or not the last episode, I guess the one before that since the last episode was a little bit of a crazy one. And then Elon married Natalia and they have full of Sade, or Sade for short. Okay, and for our last two royal families, we are going to be doing the Guangxi and Qingqing royal family tree. They are again very small, but they are connected. Actually, all the royal family trees are connected in some way or another. They're connected because of Elena and Takashi to the rest of the royal family trees. Um, and same thing with Jabari, he's what connects uh, the UKSD royal family. Well, I guess some of the other ones, 
from the UKSD also connect to, but yeah. Okay, we started out with Emperor Zhao and Empress Mei Lin. They had three kids, Araminta, Anya, and Takashi. I, I need some, so some of these, again, the pictures are taken by me and updated with like my reshade. So the coloring's different than what the original one was. I'm gonna go through and try to update a bit more, especially more of like our current families, not so much of the ones from the earlier ones that Ash did. Um, she remade them and they're amazing. But like Anya, I, I need to update her picture <laughs> along with some of the others that you'll see in Han's family as well. But anyway, okay, so Takashi married Elena as we saw, she's Princess of Willow Creek, then there's Anya, and then Araminta married Han, and they have three girls, Zayori, Rin, and Mamie. And Han's, oh wait, wait, before I get to Han's tree, Empress Mei Lin, so she remarried after Emperor Zhao died, she married Duke Kintaro, who had three kids with Duchess Dara, they had Makara, Vanna, and Kai, and Makara is married to Harper, Vanna is married to Connor, they have Lord Sota, and Kai and Hazel married, we did see them before in the other family trees, but then back to Han here. So for Han, so he's from Qinxing. So his father is Emperor Li Wei and his mother was Empress Nori. They had three kids, Akio, Tai, and Han. Akio is the heir, he's the future emperor. He is married to Azumi. They have Kaito and Yuzuru. And then Tai married Jung, who's actually not a prince. I actually need to change that. Okay, there we go, sorry about that. So it's Admiral Jung and Lord Shen. That's Tai's husband and son. Yeah, that's everyone, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, this family tree is actually available to view for the public. There's going to be a link in the description for you to go ahead and take a look. As you guys will see too, I'll like try to update some things. Again, this couldn't have been done without Ash. She did amazing. She did all of this and put this all together and I couldn't have done it without her. Because of her, I'm able to show this to you guys, which is really cool. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It's been so long since I've done a royal family tree video. I'm so glad I finally got to do it. If you are not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!